Hey everyone, Paul Richmond here, and it's my birthday. Cheers! I am 38 years old today, so I thought I would make a little video and tell you 38 things that you might not know about me. Sort of a narcissistic topic for a video, but you know, today is all about me. Most days are all about me actually, but today I have a good excuse. My favorite color is fuchsia. My favorite movie is The Little Prince. My favorite musician is Dolly Parton, yeehaw! People always ask me if I ever had a uh, wardrobe malfunction like the Cheesecake Boys in my drawings, and I did one time <laughs> when I was in college. I was hanging my artwork in a coffee shop, and I was up on this ladder hanging a big painting, uh, reaching up to put in a nail, and I was wearing these you know, old thrift store clothes, and my pants just dropped to my ankles. <laughs> one time I auditioned to be in a movie. It was a low budget indie sort of thing. The auditions were held in a library, and I had to read a script as a mobster, which did not work very well, because I can only play one character myself. My art career took off after I made a painting honoring Tammy Faye Baker and got invited to her memorial service in Palm Springs and connected with the folks at World of Wonder. That's the production company that does RuPaul's Drag Race and they had an art gallery in LA and invited me to come out. So I always like to think that Tammy Faye was shining down and helping to, to guide me in the right direction. My favorite food, cake. My favorite drink? <laughs> My favorite drink is Riesling. I hate the game Pictionary, even though I'm an artist and when I was growing up, everybody wanted to play it with me. I do not understand anything about how football works. I have tried to understand it, and still when I watch it, I feel like I'm watching some sort of alien creatures that I don't have any clue what they're doing. I like having people around when I'm painting. Uh, it kind of helps distract me, for, keep me from you know thinking, overthinking stuff. But when I'm designing my paintings, I have to be all alone. I met my husband shortly after the movie Brokeback Mountain came out, and our first Valentine's Day together, I transformed my bedroom into Brokeback Mountain for him. <laughs> I hung fabric over all the furniture to make it look like mountains and the sky and I put a tent canopy thing over the bed and tried to create a little campfire. It might have been a little over the top by some people's standards but thankfully it did not send him running away. My favorite age that I've ever been is right now. When I was a little kid they had a contest to write to the mayor and give him a suggestion for how to improve the city. I wrote and said that I thought we should build a Disney World in the middle of uh, downtown Columbus and that I should be the king of Disney World. My sister and I made lots of movies when I was growing up with our little home video camera and one of our specialties was the fairy tale of the mouse, the bird, and the sausage. If you're not familiar with that one, you should look it up. I often played the part of the bird and made her be the sausage. My first crush was Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid. My first career goal was to be a whore. <laughs> I saw the best little whorehouse in Texas when I was very young and impressionable, and I didn't quite understand all the details about what's happening in that in that place, but it seemed like a lot of fun. They made us do wrestling in high school for phys ed, and the very first day they paired me with this other really super tall kid who rolled over on top of me and dislocated my elbow, and I could not have been more grateful because it meant I didn't have to do any more wrestling for the rest of the year. I went to Catholic school, and uh, was a very good altar boy and participated in all kinds of like religious plays and productions. I was Jonah in the musical version of Jonah and the Whale. We had to wear uniforms which included a tie and I had a special Dolly Parton tie that was made out of plastic. It looked like a film reel and I wore that as often as I could because it was complying with the rules even though I put my own spin on things. I have a really bizarre fear of butterflies and other small things that flap around and fly and can fly up in your face, I feel like they're all going to poke my eyes out. <laughs> when I was in high school, I thought I wanted to be an animator and I went to uh, art school and studied uh, some animation classes and realized that there's way too much math involved for me. So I switched gears and went into illustration and painting. I was still in the closet when I was in college, so I hadn't quite discovered my uh, sense of 
style or fashion <laughs> yet. I was sort of trying to dress like I thought straight guys were supposed to dress. And I just walked around with a little bit of an attitude and that made me look kind of old and sad. And in fact, a lot of my friends that I am still friends with now tell me when they first met me in college, they thought I was a, like an adult transfer student who had come to the school for, you know, for like, decided to go back to college like in my 40s. I used to like to get together with my friends and paint little pictures of my favorite divas <laughs> and sell them on eBay. Uh, we, this would usually involve drinking some wine and I remember one time we did create a bidding war internationally for this little drunken painting we had made of Bette Midler. I realized that I was gay when I was 22 and I read a book that was about a character who was gay and as I was reading it I thought, oh, hmm. That's me. For a short time uh, after college, I had a job at Bath and Body Works and I was the master of getting people to buy every combination of lotions that you could possibly put together on one face at the same time. When I wasn't selling lotions and products, I was going to foam parties at my favorite clubs. Anybody still do that? I don't, I don't know that. Foam parties are really a thing anymore, but I was all about them at the time. You go on the dance floor and they just dump the, they dump soap suds, filled the whole club with foam, but it hurt my eyes. <laughs> so you usually like check your clothes in at the door and you're just like in your underwear. So I would do that, only I would wear goggles. <laughs> I had to look so insane. I've always been a little bit celebrity obsessed. Um, it doesn't matter who the celebrity is, probably the, my, most shameful moment was when I was in Florida uh, probably 15 years ago for a work trip and I realized that John Walsh, the host of America's Most Wanted or something like that, was standing out in front of my hotel. Um, so I ran up and got my camera, ran back downstairs, ran up to John Walsh and took a photo of him where he looks quite confused and disturbed <laughs> and that was my treasure from that experience. Sorry, sorry John. I love singing karaoke and my biggest hit is Total Eclipse of the Heart. My friends and I used to like to play the Ouija board a lot when I was young and there were a few occasions when I would perhaps guide the little thingy to spell out words that I wanted it to say so that it would freak everybody out. One time I was at a Rufus Wainwright concert who is a singer that I love and afterwards he came by where we were standing and I wanted to get his autograph but I didn't have anything for him to sign so my friend Jacqueline and I grabbed a packet of batteries off of a security guard's desk and had him sign that. <laughs> we still have those Rufus autographed batteries to this day. When Dennis and I got together, he did all the cooking. Then when he went back to school, I had to figure it out. So uh, I started to kind of do some research online and stuff. But before that, I didn't even know how to make oatmeal if we didn't have a microwave. One super fun thing that I love to do uh, back in Columbus with a couple of my friends was perform in drag shows in heels. Usually we would just wear like a dress shirt and tie and underwear and heels. Speaking of underwear, underwear is my favorite thing to collect. I have way more than one guy needs, but it's uh, for some reason I love having lots of choices in that department. My favorite holiday by far is Halloween. I've tried on many occasions to do drag for my Halloween costume and it's always a bit of a fail. My friends actually tell me that the only time that I look masculine is when I try to do drag. <laughs> I hate blood, I hate medical stuff, I hate anything that's like bodily functions, malfunctioning, <laughs> gross, uh, which makes it sort of funny that I married a nurse practitioner who basically lives on learning about that stuff and watching YouTube videos that make me wanna puke. I love clothes, especially like super colorful, crazy things, and it is really hard for me to find stuff that I like in normal, uh, department stores, you know, in the men's department because it seems like they think that men only want gray plaid boring things. So I usually buy most of my stuff from, you know, companies that I like online. Don't you feel like you know so much more about me? I've just bared my soul for you here. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me on my birthday. It was a lot of fun. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, you can click the little subscribe button down below and that would be the most wonderful birthday present because I would love for you to come back and hang out with me every week when I post new videos. All right, until then, cheers.